Welcome to a new edition of Two Year Olds in Training for the Harness Edge. I'm Harold Howe and I'm at Gamble Farms around Guelph, a training facility here with Ted Macton. Now we're going to talk some two year olds. Starting off, Ted, you don't have quite the number you've had in the past, but you got one cracker here that you do feel pretty strong about, and that's Ask My Secretary. This is a Mach 3 filly. You pay 35000 of the Forest City sale, uh, Olive Branch Farm, and Burnham Wood Farm read the filly. First fall from a Western Ideal Dam that made about 200,000. And for smart all, major. or yeah, Smart Major. Uh, for all the bitching you guys do about trying to find value for money at the yearling sales, I would argue that on paper and when you see this filly, I mean, it looks like a good buy. Forgetting about the training well, just on paper, I'd say that was value for money. I hope you're correct. Uh Harold, I feel that way. She, uh, she's she been a nice filly right from off the bat. And, uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully she carries on for us. So what you what made you so smart at the yearling sale that you were the last one putting the hand up? I, I really wasn't. A good friend of mine, Dave Reed, uh, uh, from Preferred Equine, I had the filly out looking at her, and he said, Teddy, do you like this filly? And I said, I do. And then he told me a little history on her. He, he's been involved with some of the family. Um, she was a little on the smaller side, which that would have hurt her purchase price I'm sure uh, and uh, but he said that the majority of the family has been that they haven't been big and they've grown into themselves and luckily she's she's grew quite a bit over the winter and and, uh, and you can still see her growing yeah you can she's still a little higher behind and, and uh, but uh, she'll equal out I'm sure All right, so where are we with her today it was a bluster they blow your head off here yeah. um, how do you feel about time wise where you are i'm I'm happy with it we've been in twenty five with them and uh, they've all been there and and uh uh we'll start to get serious here before long once uh, it's just getting nice now so uh, every day will be nice from here on in okay now training with her was good luck babe this is mr big Philly homebred that uh, Len Gamble Kevin Cobus and Peter Howarth had third fold of the dam hasn't clicked yet but uh Possibly. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously there hasn't been that many Mr. Biggs, really, but uh, uh, the family hasn't clicked, really. They've, they've all had their issues, obviously. Uh, I have trained a couple out of that family for Mr. Gamble, and uh, uh, breathing seems to be an issue with them. But uh, knock on wood, this filly's been uh, by far the smartest and easiest to work with so far, and hopefully, uh, hopefully she can carry on. And the third one is Stormy Cash. This is a sports writer Colt. Um, I guess Tanya Prescott bred the filly, and you had some partners, or Colt, you had some partners buy in. And this is a half brother to a horse a lot of people know, made over a million dollars, uh, Renegade Bruiser. Yeah, uh, and he, he's also a brother to a horse that we have, Single White Sock. Uh, he races every Saturday night. He's just a lower end condition horse, but uh, he shows up every every week uh, so we were interested in this guy I uh, went and looked at him and uh, were able to buy him privately and uh, uh, so far so good uh, he, he's been gelded he had a few issues that way so uh, uh, and sometimes his concentration's not there hundred percent but he's coming I'm Bruiser was a, was a late bloomer and did nothing but make money day after day week after week yeah. month after month and just a horse that would ruin a first-time owner because they think it's that easy. This guy give you a feeling that, you know, he's got some room to pull it together? He's, he, he doesn't really show you a lot to train another than he does his business every time. Uh, he's not a standout. He's not one that just, you know, you feel, wow, this is something. He just does, does his business. But each time I ask him to go faster, he does, and he does it easier. So uh, we're hoping. You'll never make it for the Leafs, then. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ted, good luck in the weeks ahead, and thanks for your time today. I appreciate it. Thanks. Right. Harold Howe with Ted McDonnell, two-year-olds in training.